Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I will explain to you how you can invite users to a SharePoint team site and bypass the whole Microsoft 365 group membership. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. This is actually, uh, this happens to be one of my favorite tricks that I see my clients uh, use, uh, utilize all the time based on their uh, business cases. Uh, so let me explain to you what's going on. So here I have this HR team site. Uh, but because it's a team site, you actually notice it's part of Microsoft Teams. So when I created a team in Microsoft Teams uh, for HR, it obviously created this uh, SharePoint team site. And Mary and I were members. I'm the owner of the team. Mary is the member. And because we uh, essentially have a team site, we got more than just a team site. So obviously we have something called a Microsoft 365 group that includes uh, Mary and myself. And we obviously have a Microsoft team. Uh, here it is. So here is the same team. And as you can see, uh, Mary and I, we are part of that uh, HR team and teams. Uh, we also got a planner, which is a task management tool uh, that we use. And again, because Mary and I were part uh, of the of the same Microsoft 365 group, we have access to that plan. And finally, we also have uh, an Outlook group calendar uh, for that same team. This picture probably explains it a little bit better. Uh, when again, when we, uh, for example, when you create a team. Uh, in uh, Microsoft Teams or a team site in uh, SharePoint, um, you get behind the scenes a Microsoft 365 group, which is essentially a security group. It's a membership group, and Mary and I were here. And all the other components are also you know, created or can be connected. So this way, if we are going to invite somebody in our group, uh, that user will have access to everything the group has to offer. So if we need to collaborate within our HR or project you know, team, uh, we have a site that's where we will manage documents, we will chat here, we will manage tasks here, we will schedule events and calendar in Outlook, and finally, we also have a distribution list uh, as well uh, to email each other. But here is a use case. Uh, let's say we need to invite John uh, from another department, and uh, we don't want John to have access to anything uh, other than a SharePoint site. Maybe, uh, you know, John needs to access some of the documents, some of the links, maybe some other stuff we have on a site. We do not want John to access any chats and teams or any tasks and planner and so on. So obviously, I cannot do this. I cannot just add uh, John as a member here. Why? Because John uh, then will be part of a Microsoft 365 group, and John will have access to uh, essentially all these apps I just showed you. So here's what you need to do instead. Again, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, tricks. We need to bypass this Microsoft 365 group membership, and we pretty much need to invite John directly to our SharePoint site. Here is how you do it. Don't click here. Again, we don't want John to be a member. Instead, click gear icon, site permissions. This is how we manage permissions uh, for just a SharePoint site. And you're going to see three groups in here, three SharePoint security groups. We have visitors, these are read-only users. We have uh, members, these are add, added, uh, delete content users. And then finally, uh, site owners, You know, full control, essentially the, the team owners. So Mary is here. Remember, Mary is a member, so Mary is uh, ends up in here and um, obviously in the SharePoint site members group, and I'm here. I'm the owner of the team. I'm the admin. So what we need to do, we need to invite John to one of those groups. Maybe let's say we want John to be a visitor. We want John to have read-only access. So you have this um, add members option here, but you have a drop-down next to it. And by default, if you click on it, uh, it will add John directly to the group. To the group, We don't want that. Instead, we want uh, to add John to the site itself. We are going to bypass this whole Microsoft 365 group membership. So we're going to click share site only. And we are going to type in the user's name. And it actually tells you right here, uh, if you add users here, they will be uh, given access to the site, but not to the group. So it kind of tells you exactly what's going to happen. And this is where we can set the proper permission. 
level for John. So if I choose read, John will be added to the visitors group, added to the members group, and full control to the uh, owners group. In our case, let's stick with read. All right, and uh, I can obviously send an email. Let's not worry about it. Let's click add. Let's see what just happened. Just like that. John got added uh, directly to our site. And John has uh, essentially visitor access, read only access to the entire site. Uh, Mary obviously still has access uh, on add, edit, delete uh, type of basis because she's a member and I'm here. And uh, let's just double check. Over here, again, nothing changed here, right? Uh, we did not alter the membership of the group. Mary and I are the only two team members within our group. And just to prove uh, this to you that it worked uh, in this browser, I am logged in as John. And uh, obviously, John has the ability uh, to access any of the documents. Uh, John is a visitor. Uh, John is not a member. And uh, so he cannot edit anything on the site. And if John tries to access any of those other resources like Teams or Planner, let's give it a try. I'm going to try and open up a Planner in this tab. Look at this. Um, John gets uh, access denied, essentially. Uh, it asks John uh, to, to request access to this plan. And the reason John doesn't have access to the plan is because, again, John is not part of the Microsoft 365 group. So that's essentially how this works. Uh, I see this trick I used uh, all the time. Uh, and there are plenty of use cases when you might have a team and all these other applications, but ultimately you just want um, the uh, recipient maybe to have access to some documents on the site and not maybe some other confidential you know, chats. Uh, or tasks in, uh, you know, Blender and chats and team and so on. So definitely feel free to utilize this trick. Uh, in the description of this video, I will make sure to include uh, a URL uh, to the uh, blog post that I wrote on the same topic. So definitely feel free to check it out for any additional instructions. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.